Hi, welcome to Kings on Science. This is my series of SLOP based on percentage abundance calculations as part of your GCSE chemistry revision. The aim is for you to get shed loads of practice on these abundance calculations. Let's dive straight in. Question one says, element R has two isotopes. The table below shows the mass and percentage abundance of each isotope. And you can see element R is made of two. We've got a mass number of 6 and 7 and a percentage abundance of 7.5 of A and 92.5 of B. We've got to calculate the relative atomic mass of element R. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the total mass of A. So we've got a mass number of 6, abundance of 7.5. So it's just 6 times 7.5 for a total of 45. We then calculate the total mass of B. So it's 7, mass number, times abundance, 92.5 giving us a total of 647.5. We then simply add those two numbers up to give us a total of 692.5. And because abundance is 100%, we can then calculate the average of A and B by dividing the total by 100, which gives us 6.93 as an average mass number for the two isotopes. Question two says element T has two isotopes. The table below shows the mass and percentage abundance of each isotope. We've got two mass numbers, A and B, with the percentage abundance of each. We've got to calculate the relative atomic mass of element T. First of all, we've got to calculate the total mass of A. So we've got a mass number of 6, an abundance of 11%, so a total of 66. We've got to calculate then the total mass of B, so mass number of 7, abundance of 89 giving us a total of 623 we then simply calculate the total of a and b which is 689 and then because percentage is 100 we can then calculate an average by dividing by 100 that gives us an average um, atomic mass for element t of 6.89 question 3 says the table shows the mass numbers and percentage abundance of two isotopes of potassium We've then got to calculate the relative to like mass of potassium, giving our answer to one decimal place. So the first thing we've got to do is calculate the total mass of isotope A. That's got a mass of 39, abundance of 93.1, giving us a total of 3630.9. We then calculate the total mass of B. So that's a mass number of 41, abundance of 6.9, giving us a total of 282.9. We then simply add the two mass numbers together giving us a total of 3,913.8. We then calculate the average of A and B by dividing by 100, which gives us 39.138, which is 39.1 to 2 to 1 decimal point. Question 4 says, Table 1 shows the mass number and percentage abundance of two isotopes of lithium. We've got to calculate the relative type mass of lithium, giving the answer to 1 decimal place. So first thing we've got to do is use the table to calculate the mass of isotope A. So isotope A has got a mass number of 3, abundance of 91.1, giving us a total of 273.3. We then calculate the total mass of isotope B, which is a mass number of 5, abundance of 8.9%, giving us a total of 44.5. We then simply add the two mass numbers together for a total of 317.8, and then to find an average of A and B, we simply divide by 100% to give us an answer of 3.178, which is 3.2 to 1 decimal place. Question 5 says, Table 1 shows the mass number and percentage abundance of two isotopes of carbon. We've got to calculate the relative atomic mass of carbon, giving our answer to 1 decimal place. First we've got to do is calculate the total mass of isotope A. So we've got a mass number of 12. Abundance of 90% gives us a total of 1,080. We then calculate the total mass at uh, the mass of B. So it's got a mass number of 14, abundance of 10%, gives us a total of 140. So then we calculate a total of A and B, gives us a total of 1,220. We can then work out the average atomic mass by dividing 1,220 by 100%, gives us a total of 12.2. So the average mass number is 12.2. Question 6 says, Table 1 shows the mass number and percentage abundance of two isotopes of oxygen. 
we've got to calculate the relative atomic mass of oxygen, giving our answer to one decimal place. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the total mass of isotope A. So its mass is 16, percentage abundance is 75, total of 1,200. We then use the table to calculate the total mass of isotope B, mass number 17, abundance 25, for a total of 425. We then simply add those two numbers together to give us a total mass of 1,625. To work out the average, we simply divide by 100 because this is 100%. So that's 16.25 or 16.3 to one decimal place. Question 7. So his element R has two isotopes. The table below shows the mass and percentage abundance of each isotope. We've got to calculate the relative atomic mass of element R. So again, what we're going to first do is calculate the mass of isotope A. We know that's a mass number of 10 and an abundance of 76, giving us a total of 760. Calculate the total mass of isotope B, which is a mass of 13, abundance of 24, total of 312. We then add the two totals together to give us a total of 942. We then calculate the average by dividing by 100 for an answer of 10.72. Question 8 says element T has two isotopes. The table below shows the mass and percentage abundance of each isotope. We've got to calculate the relative type mass of element T. So we, again, we calculate the total mass of isotope A, which is 6 times 19, 114 in total. We then calculate the total mass of isotope B, which is 7 times 81, which is 567 in total. We then calculate the total of A and B to give us a total of 681. And then we want an average, so we divide by 100 to get an average isotope mass of 6.81. Question 9 says so Table 1 shows the mass numbers and percentage abundance of two isotopes of calcium. We've got to calculate the relative atomic mass of calcium giving our answer to one decimal point. So again, we've got to calculate the total mass of isotope A, mass of 40, abundance 91.1%, giving us a total of 3,644. Isotope B is 42 times 8.9%, giving us a total of 373.8. Add the two totals together, giving us a total of 4,017.8. We divide by 100 to get our average, which is 40.178, and because we've got to write our answer to one decimal point, that's 40.2. Question 10. So as table 1 shows the mass number and percentage abundance of two isotopes of magnesium. Calculate the relative atomic mass of magnesium, giving our answer to one decimal place. So we've got to calculate the total mass of A, which is 24 times 78. 1,872. Calculate the total mass of B. 26 times abundance of 22 gives a total of 572. Add the to two totals together to give us 2,444. Then to work out the average, divide by 100 gives us 24.44 or 24.4 to one decimal place. Hope you found these useful. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.